Hi, guys. Good, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How is everybody? I'm okay. Teacher. I'm fine. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Um, all right, guys. I'm glad to see uh, many of you. Just give me a second. Let me, I'm going to adjust here my camera. Okay, that's nothing better. Okay, all right, guys. Welcome to today's class. How was your day today? Pretty good? Pretty good, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. End of Friday. <laughs> Sorry? Since we're not going to work tomorrow. Oh, you feel that it's Friday. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a mini Friday. Mm -hmm. Where we're gonna have two two Fridays. Fridays uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, I know. So for you and me, it's the same thing, right? <laughs> yes, okay. we have to continue working. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's life. We just have to do it, and <laughs> we can't do very much about it. <laughs> That's life. But um, you know, at least there is a, a double pay. Right, so that's yes, the tree is the unique thing that made me happy. Sorry, is that unique thing that made me happy? Exactly, that's what I figure. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always, my, my philosophy in life is always look at the bright side of things, you know, like there's always going to be something that you're not going to like, but you know, always look for the good thing in. In, in everything, right? So, because uh, there has to be something good, <laughs> right? Okay, well, guys, um, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to see you guys. And um, yeah, so tell me a little bit, what are your plans for tomorrow? I, I, know, I know Jose's plan, <laughs> which is the same as my plan, but um, what about you, Heidi? Uh, what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, I'm planning to uh, since we is not uh, we're not allowed to uh, go to the parade, right? Los desfiles, ¿cómo se dice desfiles? Yeah, yeah, we can say a parade. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we're not allowed, and then we are watching them on the TV. Okay, okay. I, you know what? I'm I'm really bad. I'm like the worst person to ask those things to because I don't watch the news. So I'm really, I'm literally like the worst person to ask about that. But um, yeah, okay. So, so there's no parades this year. There are no parades this year. Is that correct? No? Uh, I think maybe there is a parade, but uh, people is not allowed to go because of the coronavirus, right? So there, there are parades, but people can't go. That doesn't make sense. So like... Who's you watch it on TV, maybe. I don't know if good evening. If there will be, I really don't know. Good evening, Jerry. maybe someone else has heard something about it. Mm -hmm. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Okay, well, uh, what about the rest of you guys? Tell me what are your plans for tomorrow? Andres, what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, I will be resting only teacher okay I, in my house sleeping mm. late mm, yeah. maybe watching tv yes, yes. <laughs> no. watching movies mm -hmm. look at you i'm so i'm so envious <laughs> yeah well um for the people that that are going to rest um i wish you a very rainy day so that you can sleep all day <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice, right? It's always I I love being home on a rainy day. It's just one of the best things, the best feelings in the world to just, you know, be you know at home and being able to even I don't know watch, watch um your a, a favorite movie on TV and while they're raining and 
the rain is coming and you know drinking a hot cocoa or whatever <laughs> you know so i hope you guys have one of those days uh what about luis what are you doing tomorrow good evening everybody uh, i have no plans teacher just rest <laughs> maybe watch a movie or sleep <laughs> nice okay okay yes. also watching a movie okay all right no 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 particular movies in mind um no, no? i don't have any, any new any new movie i want to watch right now okay. um i don't know maybe a random movie <laughs> okay all right sounds good what about Jos josue what about you Tell, tell us about your plans. I don't have plans. Uh, tomorrow will be my day off. Uh, is, the last day. Is it going to so, be your day off? You always have that day off? Or is it your day off because you're really going to you? No, no it's a, a day off, no work. The uh, 15th September. Oh, no, it's no. not work September 15th. Oh, it's a normal day. It's just a normal day for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. What about you, Wendy? Are you planning to have anything exciting? <laughs> um, good evening. No, I don't have plan because the the only rest because it's in the middle of the week and my mind don't prepare. <laughs> Oh. Tomorrow, maybe I don't have plan. Maybe in house only that uh, with my family, and maybe rest all day. Okay, sounds like a good plan. Okay, and what about Jerry? What are your plans? Uh, maybe. Maybe I go to eat something with my family and watch some on TV. Maybe that. Okay, sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, all right. And uh, Ivan, what are your plans for tomorrow? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Ivan. I have no good any good plan, evening. but... I wish to sleep every day, but I remember that I have two kids and that's impossible for me. That's all. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. When you have responsibilities, you know, you can't do very much about it, right? Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Um, so, but you don't have anything planned with the family? I guess he's talking to the family. <laughs> Ivan, uh, do you have anything planned with the family? No, Ivan? What? Do you have anything planned with the family? Uh, maybe go to swim hmm. for a while. Okay. If don't rain. If it doesn't rain is if it doesn't rain. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. All right, good. And what about um, Irene? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, um, tomorrow, maybe get up later first and then rest in the morning, maybe go out for for lunch with my family, only that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Do you have a, a place where you're going to go for lunch? Maybe to eat pizza. Oh, okay, a pizza hut. Yes. <laughs> and that's, if you, if you talk about going to, uh, to have some pizza for Salvadorans, that's, it has to be a pizza hut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, sounds good, sounds good. 
Okay. Um, and Ronald, what about you? What plans do you have? Your microphone is off. You need to open the, you need to um, open the microphone because we can't hear you. Ronald? Do, do you mean my you say my night, teacher? Yes, I did. I was asking what plans do you have, Ronald? Uh, my plan for tomorrow. I have to rest all the day and maybe at night I have to celebrate my birthday because tomorrow is my birthday. I love how you say I have to <laughs> as if it's like an obligation. Yes, because I am too old. Oh my I, I, I just remember when I was a child. Oh no, no, no. I don't, you know, I think, I think um, age is just a number. I mean, I, my, my opinion, I don't know, but I think that that age is just a number. It just tells someone how much experience a person has in life. But that's it. You know, so I don't believe in something being like somebody being old or young or, you know, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And Claudia? My plans always always uh, sleep, eat, and watch TV. I like that plan. <laughs> sounds good. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like the majority of you are going to have a very relaxing, a very relaxing um, uh, holiday. Then I do hope you guys have a relaxing holiday because, you know, you've been working hard. It's been, you know, we're in the we're almost, um, you know, probably like two thirds of the way uh, we're almost finished uh, this, you know, this year and it's been hard. So yeah, just go ahead and rest, you know. Okay, all right guys, well, we're gonna take attendance. So, um, Ana Claudia? No, right? I think she was having problems with the connection. She reported the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I saw. Okay, let's continue then to the next person, which is um, Irvin. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Andres, sorry. Andres. Present, present teacher. Okay. Ya, ya iba a pegar el grito en el cielo, Andres. Y iba a ser ahí. And what about me? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> what about Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Claudia. And uh, Edgar? Edgar? No, right? Okay. All right. Irvin. Irvin. No, right? Okay. Heidi. Heidi? Present teacher. All right. Present. Welcome, yeah, gotcha. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Irene. Ivan? Present teacher. All right, welcome Ivan. Jose Montes? No, right? Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right. Josue? Present teacher. All right, welcome. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, welcome. And... Jury. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Thank Luis. you, teacher. Luis. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Luis. Natalia. Natalia. Okay. And Ronald. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Ronald. Wendy. Present. Okay. Oh, where are you, Wendy? Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Are you Are you feeling better, Wendy? Oh well. Um, yes. Very bad day yesterday, but okay. I I know. Teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I know that you know. 
you don't always feel maybe a hundred percent, but but uh, the important thing is that you feel better, right? Better than yes. Now. My brain is very slow right now. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand that that's okay. It happens. You know, just take your time. Thanks. Yeah, Warner. Not yet, right? He's still having problems with the internet. And Yvonne. Yvonne? No, right? Okay. All right. Just making sure that I didn't miss anybody. I didn't hear Anna Claudia or Edgar or Irvin or Jose Montes or Natalia or Warner or Yvonne. Okay. All right, perfect, guys. So we're going to start. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Great, perfect. Okay, so the topic for today is analyzing uh, production cost of a product. Okay. And uh, your, your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero, is the intermediate two and it's class number 19. Okay, so let's begin uh, with this. This is a little review of what we saw yesterday. We've been talking about indirect questions, which are much more polite than um, in than direct questions, right? So we can use indirect questions when we want to talk about a very sensitive um, topic. You know, uh, you have to ask a question that you may not, the person may not feel comfortable with, or you just simply want to be very polite because maybe the person that you're talking to is a very important person or you know somebody of authority so you want to keep it very polite so we can use um, these um these beginnings right we have i wonder i'd like to know would you mind telling us would you let me know? And there are others. I mean, these are not the only ones. Something I forgot to tell you before was that these are not the only ones, right? Um, it, these are just beginnings, some beginnings, but there are much more than just this. And the other thing is that um, depending on what the, the beginning is, we're going to decide if at the end, we're going to put a period like this, right? or we're gonna put a question mark like this, okay? So I wonder, this, it's not really a question, you're just, you're, it's a statement. You're saying, I wonder this, you know? Um, this is the thing that I wonder. So it's not really a question. I'd like to know, and you're just saying a statement. Me gustaría saber esto, right? So it's not really a question. But if you start with, would you mind would you let me know? And how you can tell if it's a real question? Well, real questions kind of like have, um, they have the, the inversion, right? Where we have the, the auxiliary first. And like, just like here, would you mind? The would is an auxiliary. Okay, so there you go, right there. You know that that's a real question. Would you mind telling us? We have a, a question mark here. Would you let me know again? This is like in a form of question. So yes, it's going to be uh, finishing with a question mark, right? And then we learned that we can use, um, we can use a question words. Um, sorry. Like what, like when, like how much, and like what time, but those are all, they're not limited to that, right? There, there are so many more. You have the, the why, the which, the who, the where, okay, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, I mean, you can use any one you want. And just like the other structure that we learned, um, that we learned before with the if, we use the subject, two pieces um, I need to weld, that's the subject. 
the provider is the subject in this one. And then here, the provider again is also the subject. And the first batch is a subject. And after that, we use the, um, the, the verb in the, it, like, well, in any form, basically, right? So any form that is needed, like are, will, send, right? So if there's an auxiliary, we use it before as well, right? Charges, um, is expected. Okay. And then we have the, the uh, what's it called? The, the complement. In this one, there's no complement, but in this one, there is, right? So we have the order of the screws, the process to process the order and to be completed. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah. Questions? Because well, I, as you were doing your homework, which I'm sure you did, um, you probably came across some questions. So now is the time to ask. Do you have any questions about this? No? It's all clear? OK. All right, so I asked you guys to for home to do something for homework. Do you remember what was the homework? Yes, teacher. What was the homework? We have to do three sentences for, with W H questions and three sentences with information questions. Mm -hmm, right. And OK, so that was what we did in class. Right. Um, two questions with uh, with the um, the verb to be and sorry, with the verb to be, with this um, two questions uh, with uh, sorry, three questions with yes or no kind of questions and uh, three questions with information questions. That was what we did in class. But what was the actual homework? We have to, to do these sentences with indirect questions. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're going to change the direct questions that you made to indirect questions. OK, so since I know you guys did their homework, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys to um, work in breakout rooms. And you're going to be um, working with a small group. And you're going to be asking the questions, okay? Going to be asking the questions using indirect questions. That sound good? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to open up the groups. I'm going to be working about groups of three. Some of you will be in a group of four. Um, and I'm going to give you about mm, 15 minutes. Why am I going to give you 15 minutes? Because there's going to be three or four of you, and you're all going to be asking the question to your classmates. So you're going to, there's going to be a lot of discussion. But of course, the questions have to be an indirect question. Okay, so you're going to be asking the question. Now, how do you answer an inquiry in, in ugh, sorry, an indirect question? The same that you answer a direct question. So if your partner is asking you, uh, if you say, say, I was wondering what the two pieces I need to weld are. How do you answer? You're going to simply say the two pieces are blah, 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 blah. 
of course, there's not going to be a yes or no answer, right? Because these, um, in this case, with uh, with these kind of questions, it's not a yes or no. You're going to be directly answering the what. But if it is a yes or no question, then you're going to be answering. Uh, you can you could answer short. You can say things like yes, I did. No, I did. Yes, I. They. I. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Etc. 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 It is possible to give short answers. Okay, but for these ones. Not really, because the whole idea with these kind of questions is to get a bigger answer. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. All right, so let's open up the rooms. Here we go. The class yesterday. That's why I don't know. I didn't. I didn't connect yesterday at the class. Oh, good, good. I guess you write some some question, indirect question yesterday. Yes, three questions, yes or no, and three. I don't remember. How many sentences did you grow? Did you write? Information question. How many sentences? Give me a second. Teacher. I was. Hi, Gary. I teach her right. because I didn't I didn't stay here at the class yesterday. I, I would like to know to know how many sentences are we going to create in that structure in your question. Uh, they were supposed to be three. Yes, three and three. Three questions. Um the answers. No, no, three. no questions. I'm saying like three questions where you say, for example, um, I don't know. Um, do you have a car, right? Or um, are you learning another language? And then and then you had to change those to the indirect question. Oh, okay. Same thing with the other ones that are information questions where you have to use where, when, why. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I'm going to ask my question. Yeah. Um, Can, can you tell me if you work in an office? Yes or no? This is yes or no question. No. And no, you? I don't. Good. Yeah. Keep on making the, the short answers, right? No, I don't, right? Not just simply say no, yes, right? Try to keep it. No, I don't. Now, if you do, I would suggest like make more questions. Like, like we say yes, um, yes, I do. Then you say, oh, really? You know, uh, where, when, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So don't just limit yourself, right? Kind of thing. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go and visit the other groups. Do you have any questions before I leave? No, no teacher. Everything is okay. Okay, great. All right. See you guys in. Uh, later on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
do you have a when a, when i know that the player or the team or the squad is a good team i watch the game ah okay that's good yeah So the teacher appeared and everyone went, went quiet. <laughs> yeah. We, we are waiting for your question, teacher. <laughs> oh, <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the, the homework, teacher? Did I do the homework? Yeah. No. I did the homework? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are funny. Um, OK. So, is there something I can help you with? By the moment, I think no. We we all already finished the question. Um, I have a question, teacher. With uh, yeah. um, switch the simple question to the uh, because I have in the number four. What do you like to eat for a dinner? And switch that question and can you tell me if what do you like to eat for, for dinner? That's correct. Using what? Yes, but eliminate the if because you, you said if what? So what you said was perfect except that you eliminate the if. So, okay. could, so can you tell me what you like to eat for dinner? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, use if was uh, essential. No, if it's only when the answer is going to be yes or no. Okay. okay. But if the answer is not going to be yes or no, you're going to have to use another question word. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Anything else? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. With one question that I make is there is no question. So is is he hungry? Okay. Can I say, can I tell you? No. Can you tell me? Can you tell me if is he hungry or hungry? No, no. Um, can you tell me if and then the subject? Then is the subject. So can you tell me if? What's the subject? He is. Oh, he is. Yeah, exactly. First, the subject is he. So can you tell me if he, then the verb, yes. uh -huh. is, and then the complement, hungry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? That's it. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Ronald, what's Teacher, no. and in, I have a question. Okay. When, when, it's almost in the same way that the, the partner said. Okay. When you said, for example, can you tell me if she is playing soccer is correct or I have to write place tennis or, or soccer or something like that? What is the question? The question is, can you tell me? No, the direct question. What is the direct question? Ah, does she play soccer? Okay, does she play soccer? Okay. So can you tell me mm -hmm. what comes next? Remember, does she play soccer is yes or no answer. So what do we use when we want to say yes or no answer? Sorry? Okay. Does she play soccer is a yes or no answer, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we use when we want to make a question with yes or no in, in an indirect question? The, the word is? And the okay. I don't remember. So, can you tell me if 
And then the subject? Sorry, the, yeah, the, verb, the verb. The verb, sorry. If she. If she play. If she play. Plays with us. Plays, that's right. Because even though we don't use the word does, but the does tells us that, that it's the third person singular in the present. So we're going to be using the third person singular of the present play. So if she plays. Okay, so when we have a direct question with does or do, we have to, well, with does, only with us, right? We have to uh, write the S at the end of the lighter party, light, huh? lighter person birth. Mm -hmm. And when it's in the play, sorry, when it's um, uh, did, then it's going to be the past of the verb. So we don't include did, but we include the past of the verb. Okay, so okay, okay. indirectly, the did is present, but it's not there. And also when we use do, right? Um, yes, do just tells us that it's the present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, any other questions? Okay, all right, so continue guys. I'm gonna go in and, and um, say hi to the other groups. Okay, thank you teacher. You're welcome. And, and where is possible? Good evening, teacher. Where, where, where is possible use with WH word? Where? Yes. Yes, I think. Okay. One of the, the, the age questions. Okay, thank you. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, uh, no, teacher, we are um, if ending, finishing our sentences. Andres, uh, he finished and he tell us all, all his sentences. Okay. All right. So we're, we don't have any questions so far? No, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. What happened? <laughs> oh, I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to share my my sentences right now with my classmates. Okay, okay. I have my my direct question. And did you complete the English platform yet? Indirect question. I wonder if you completed the English platform yet? Next, do you eat your dinner before your English class? Indirect, que indirect question. I like to know if you eat your dinner before your English class. Okay, next about this topic, indirect question with information question. Do you know where is a party? 
I wonder, you know, where is the party? Do you do the English homework today? I like to know when do you do the the English homework? Hold on, Irene. I just wanted to mention something. I I am happy that you are able to make the questions, but the idea is for you to ask the questions to Ivan and to Andres. Okay, so don't don't just share your your questions. Ask them. Okay. 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 Okay, hey, Andres, please tell me your question. Okay. Uh... Hmm? I wonder if you would uh, date on blind men. I wonder if you would date a blind man. No, I don't. Mm. Okay. okay, remember remember her question is would you date? So you're when you answer, you have to say no mm. I would want. want. No, I want. No. I won't because one is in the, in the ah no I wouldn't wouldn't I wouldn't uh -huh. because she's asking would you date would you date mm -hmm. a blind man you say no I wouldn't okay when yeah. your turn okay. those are all the questions do you finish yes. ah okay we already practiced between us teacher. All the questions you asked each other? Yes, the six questions. ¿Se le preguntaron a todos? Yes, we, for example, Luis was asking two questions to each one. Each one. Uh -huh. And me the same, Wendy the same. Just two questions? No, I want you to do the six questions. Oh, yes, it, it was two, four, six. So. Two to Wendy, two to Heidi, two to me. So he made the six questions to us. I don't know if that was the exercise. Okay, okay. And everybody did that? Yes, and then yeah. my sixth question, as they are three also, I asked in two turns, one question to each one. Okay. And All then right. the same. So, mm -hmm. In total, you, you, you heard 24 questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, just I would suggest just keep on asking more questions about the questions you asked, right? So if somebody said yes, you know, ask some more questions about it. Okay. And I'll be okay. we're gonna be back in the groups in a moment. Okay, not a problem. I don't know if uh, you want to try Wendy or maybe to pay for you solo. It's so, it's so, it's like a, um, embarrassing or disgusting uh, that person are asking you this kind of information. For example, um, do you have, do you have boyfriend or, or do, do you, do you are pregnant, for example? And then for this kind of question, it's necessary to use different different ways to 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 ask to ask. Me. And please, Ivan, do can you? Tell us your sentences. Uh, I don't know if I correct, but the first one I, I have you schedule the meeting for tomorrow. Can you repeat? Have you scheduled the meeting for tomorrow? 
Okay. Is direct is the direct question and the the indirect questions? I'd like to know if you have a schedule the meeting for tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you were talking to me? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. And for that question is for to answer yes I have or Yes, have you scared your, how is your question, I don't I'm sorry? I didn't understand the question. Uh, can you repeat your question, please, Ivan? Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, have you scheduled the meeting for tomorrow? My question is, it's correct to answer yes, I have. The kind of answer. So the question is, have you? Schedule the meeting for tomorrow. Yes, the answer would be yes, I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks teacher. Thanks teacher. Yeah. Andres, do you like rainy days? Yes, I like. Uh, well, I wonder if you like rainy days. <laughs> the same, the same answer. Give me a second, please. Okay. Are you guys finished? Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah? Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the room in a moment. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi, Miss Jessica. Hi, Trey. You guys finished? Hi, teacher. Yep. Yeah, I can tell you guys are very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> we finished. We, we have an interview to... To... Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you're interviewing Joshua. Huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, sounds good. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? No, we're finished. We're finished. Okay, I think we're going to see each other in about a few seconds. I'll, I'll call you back to the main room, okay? Okay, don't okay. worry. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Hi, guys. You ready? Hi. Sorry? Are you guys ready? Are you finished? Yes, teacher. We are explaining to Yuri because she didn't have in the class yesterday. Okay, you got, so you guys are finished or do you need more time? Yuri? Uh, yes, uh, we finished. Okay, sounds good. Uh, okay, great. I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing everybody's ready. You guys are 
we understand how to do this. Yeah. Do you feel that you understand indirect questions or do you feel you need more help still? Do you feel you need more practice? I understand, teacher. For me, I understand. You understand, okay. Who feels that they need more practice? Teacher, I just have a question. Uh, when we use the, the way to identify the indirect question with information requested is when they are using the what, when. So whenever we use the WH word, uh, we know that the answer will be a complete answer. Is that right? We cannot use yes or not? That's right, exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Absolutely. Right. So um, yeah, definitely wouldn't. Uh, and, and also when you hear, and when you hear the, um, you know, like the if, you know that the answer is going to be yes or no. Yes or no. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, sure. yeah. and, then, and, and then when you hear the what, you know that it's going, you're going to be talking about a thing. You ask about a why, if you hear the why, you're, they're going to be probably answered with because, blah, 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 blah. But in case we have one with including the if, but we are not using, a, it's not a, using an auxiliary like good or would, if something like, I wonder if you receive a copy, can we answer, yes, I received or, or you could if you're going to be a answer a complete answer for example i was wondering if you uh, okay if you received my email yes i received your email yesterday so when we use wonder is is not using an auxiliary we must never use the we we oh. never use the auxiliary for example um like the do, the did, or that. We never use that. No, I mean, when I use, I wonder, I like to know, I'm not using could or would. Uh, my answer, because I cannot answer, yes, I could, yes, I would. Mm -hmm. My answer is going to be, that is my, my, my question. And maybe I'm not clear. If you ask me, did you receive? No. I wonder if you received my email. My answer could be, can be yes. I did or no, or yes, I received it. Um, you could say, yes, I did. Yes, that's, ah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, I did. Because in that, in the answer, you can use did, but in mm -hmm. the question, you know. Ah, okay. In the same case in present, so, so I though, can use, yes, I do. In the present, if some, ah, that is the question. Okay, now it's clear. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're going to do a short answer, right? Yes, uh -huh, short answer. Short answer. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. now it's clear. That's just fine. But you, I mean, it's going to, I'm not really showing you that because that's going to confuse many people in the sense like, oh, like, you know, how do I know when it's a did and blah, blah. So that's why I'm saying don't really pay attention too much to that. And I think it, the easiest way is just to answer, um, you know, yes, blah, 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 right. But yes, um, of course, if you are saying, for example, I was wondering if you received mm -hmm. my email, received is in mm -hmm. the class, mm -hmm. so you're going to be using did. Uh huh. Yes, because it's uh, showing we're talking in the past. Okay. Absolutely. Ah, okay. Okay. That, uh, that was my yes. Thank you. Okay, sounds good. All right, we're going to move on to the next part. We're still going to be talking about the indirect questions, but we're going to be um, talking about it in a different way. But before we do that, let's take attendance because it's almost time. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Yay. Now, yes. Finally, finally. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think this is, or is this, I think the first time that I, that I take that it. I'm late. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia. Present teacher. Okay. I've got. 
question. All right. Urban. No, okay. Um, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose. Jose, sorry, Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josué. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Ronald. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Werner. Yvonne. Okay. All right. Present. Oh, there she is. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Okay. All right, guys. Let's move on. Let's continue with the PowerPoint. Okay. So now we're going to do the following. Okay, we're going to number the drawings in the correct order to assemble all the parts of the bicycle. So here we have a bicycle that we're going to be assembling. And you're going to decide which one goes first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. There are six steps. So right now, individually, I want you to decide which one's number one, which is number two, and then which is three, and which is four. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a minute to do that. Okay, finished? Ready? Who needs more time? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, you are finished or yes, you need more time? Uh, I'm finished. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Everybody's finished? Yes, the chair, I finished. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, um, so let's talk about this. What do you guys think? What is um, the first one? In your opinion, what is Number one. Shipping. Shipping. The frame. Frame. Shipping. Frame. I have frame. For me, shipping. Frame. Ship. Shipping. <laughs> it says to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. Shipping is when you send. Yes. yes, but if you see the instructions as number, the drawings in the correct orders to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. But we don't know if we receive it or we're going to send it. Doesn't say anything right. like that. <laughs> I 
Are we receiving the bicycle? <laughs> I wonder that. Uh, no, I, I think we are. We produce. Yeah, exactly. Because remember, the I hold, this this unit is about production. Ah, OK. okay. The, uh, our, in that case, frame. frame. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, frame. OK, so because it's about production, you're you're absolutely right. I, I can understand. I totally understand. If you are the one who is receiving the bicycle, it's probably going to be different. But because we are talking about production of a product, then it's not going probably going to be first that you receive it. You're actually going to be making it. You're going to be producing it first. OK. Sounds good? Okay. Yes. 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 So I would say the first one is number. It's frame. Yeah. Frame. Yes. frame. But number one frame. is frame. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, good. Number two. Wheels. 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 Yeah, I, I agree. Wheels. Mm -hmm. Good. What's number three? Pedals. Saddles? Pedals. Pedals, yes. Very good. I see pedals. <laughs> yeah. Huh? No. Yes, pedals. Pedals. Yeah. Pedals. Not, not pedals. <laughs> <laughs> pedals. 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 Pedals, yes. Pedals. Okay. Which is actually the same pronunciation of this word here, no spell me chat. Okay, which is the same of pronunciation of this. Pedals as uh, pedals. Yeah, pedals, pedals. as in like a, for like a rose, for example. A rose has petals. Pedals. Mm -hmm. yeah. So same pronunciation, but different um, definitely different meaning and different. Spelling. Okay, number four. Saddle. 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 Mm. Handlebar. Saddle. Sorry, handlebars, right? Remember, mm. we talked about handlebars. We talked about mm. this before handlebars was what you hold on to, right? Okay, so that's handlebars. And then. Saddle. Saddle. Saddle, we talked also about the saddle, right? Okay, so the saddle is this part right here. And finally, shipping. Shipping. Once we have the whole thing complete, we can ship it. Okay. All right. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, Look at this activity. Take turns asking and answering indirect questions about the assembly process of a product. Integrate vocabulary from exercise three. So you can use these, this vocabulary, right? And you can ask indirect questions about this process, right? So you, could use, you can say, for example, um, I'm wondering what is the first step? And your partner's going to say, oh, well, the first step is uh, to take um, to create the frame of the bicycle. OK. Uh, or, for example, can you tell me. Um, can you tell me who. Sorry. Uh, could you tell me where the. Where the. Um, the handlebars go. Can you tell me where the handlebars go? Oh, the handlebars, the handlebars go at the front of the bicycle. Things like that. Okay. So do we understand what we're going to be doing? If you want, I can write it down if it's easier for you guys. So you can say, for example, um, I, I wonder which is the first step process and then the answer that your partner would probably give you is something like um the first 
step is the is building the frame or making the frame. Say making the frame. Building the making. Okay. And then you can ask, for example, can you tell me uh, where the handle bars go? And then you can answer, um, they go at the front. Okay, so here we're making indirect questions, right? Starting with like, a, we have starting with, I wonder, can you tell me, right? And here where you're going to be using the question words, which, okay, where, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So is that, is that pretty clear how you're going to be working? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Any questions so far? Okay. All right, let's um let's go ahead and make groups and I'm going to get you guys to work in, in pairs. Okay, so we're going to switch here and I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so let's open the news. Okay, we have to start. Okay. Mm. Yes. Uh, for example, I like to know. How the salary how is, is the how is the shipping? For example, I like well, to but, know how is the shipping? Yes. Um. I wonder if the the pedals hard to ensemble. <laughs> It's hard to ensemble, ensemble, ensembling. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> ah, the words, the words, sorry, the, the sounds of the words. <laughs> what happened? Me lo perdí. It's the, the sound of the pedals. Oh, the pedals. The pedals. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's so it's pedal. Yeah, it's, make sure that the L is pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have to avoid that that word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um let me see. Um I wonder. Um, the, um, the saddle is too high. 
Um, yes, it looks like hi. Um, I love to know um, if I, I, I like to know if the frame is uh, barrel resistant. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, if I ask you how many days uh, takes the, the chipping of the bicycle? How, how many days? Could you repeat the, the question? Uh, how many days it takes the chipping of the bicycle? How many days? Okay, but remember, you are making you are making um, indirect questions. Indirect questions. Oh, okay. Remember, I I'd like to know how many days it takes the chipping of the bicycle. I know. I would like to know how many days. How many days? Hold on. I'd like to know how many days. Oh, okay. How many? I would like to know how many days. Then we go to the subject. What is the subject? The device. No. No. The subject is it. It. Yeah, because we're talking about the situation. Of the the situation of of of, um, of the sending of the package. Okay, so yeah, I'd like to know. Oh, I don't have a date. So. We're having trouble hearing you. I forgot mine. Hmm? I like to know how many steps is necessary to assemble the bicycle. Yes, that's good. That's good. But going back to the other one, we would have to say, um, I would like to know how many days it takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we're talking about the we're talking about the situation it takes. Okay. How many sentences we have to do? Um. Not there's no um, limit of. Uh, just as much as you can speak in the next three minutes. Okay. Mm. I wonder what. Ah, pero yo fuera feliz en Teacher, I did have a problem. Yeah, that's With what I'm noticing. Internet problems, right? With her internet? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I did go. I return. I just go. <laughs> really? And we do. Yes. Right really? now, maybe. Or only maybe Heidi. Heidi. Only Heidi or you too? Only Heidi. Oh. Okay. Because I stay here. Uh huh. Oh, Heidi's go. And Heidi's 
please come back. <laughs> I just come back. Return. <laughs> oh, she's gone again. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, practice the questions with me. Okay. Okay. Um, I un I don't understand. I know. I don't understand very well, but I tried. Yes, I know. I know. Um, were you able to see the the videos from the previous classes? No, teacher. No. Okay. No, I can't. Okay, so that would be very helpful. Maybe if you could see the video. Okay. Um, so try to watch the videos maybe tomorrow that is going to be a day off, right? Okay, so you, teacher. You can, okay. Um, yeah, you can, you can um, uh, watch the videos and um, it, that will help you a little bit better. Um, mm -hmm. The whole idea is that with indirect questions, you're trying to be as polite as possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Um, and you always start with a question, a question phrase, an indirect question phrase, okay? And then you go on to using either if, you use if, if it's a yes or no question, and you use the question word for information questions. So you can use what, where, when, how, who, et cetera, et cetera. It's your if is the, I, I don't remember very well, but, I remember that if is the future. No, no. If it's just you are using it to um, to talk about a yes or no answer question. It's like when you say, for example, me gustaría saber si usted puede acompañarnos. So that it's the same. Um, it's exactly the same thing. So the if is would be like C. So you. I, mm -hmm. I like to know if. I like to know if. Me gustaría saber si. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I like to know that. But when I understand that, uh, I use wonder and I, I like to know is the period. No, it's the, the question mark. Right, because I'd like to know is not, it's not a real question. Me gustaría saber. And the, in the other, in the other person uh, can explain. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Me gustaría saber cómo es el universo. Uh-huh. That's not... It's not um, a specific question. It's uh -huh. something that you're wondering. I would like to know what the universe is like. So that's not really a question. Um, but the answer may be uh, uh, close or open, open answer. For example, I, I like to know if the universe works, for example. And maybe I can uh, answer uh, me too. Is it sure? Is, uh, uh, the answer uh, can be uh, sure. It's not important. The answer. Well, the thing is, I'd like to I'd like to know, uh, for example, I'd like to know what your thoughts are about this. You if, like, I'd like to know what your opinion is. I, if, imagine I say, I'd like to know what your opinion is. You could say, okay, yeah, you know that. But that's not what I want. What I want is to get your, I want you to give an opinion, right? So, so if you just say, okay, <laughs> you know, that's not, what? Going, right, that's not going to what happen with you. What I want, 
Yes. So you so oh. the correct way would be to say, OK, I'd like to know what your opinion on the matter is. Well, I think blah, 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 blah. Right. So that would be a mm. correct way. Grammatically speaking, you could say, OK. You could say, o sea, sí, me gustaría saber su opinión. Está bien. And you leave it like that, right? But that's not what you expect the person to answer. Uh -huh. But in the other question, maybe uh, is um, I will, I will to know. Uh, I would like. When to know. I, uh, I, uh -huh. I like to know. I would like to know. I would like. I would like to know. But. What is different? Um, but the other uh, the fra the phrases the same phrases is the I I like to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Honey's back. Yay! I think so. There <laughs> she really is. There or not. <laughs> Maybe, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think she is having lots of problems. Mm -hmm. I just want to make okay. sure that she's here and then I'm going to go and visit the other groups. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher, and when I uh, Make the, the question. Uh, would you mind mind? Mm -hmm. Tell tell me how much yeah. money you have. Would you mind telling me how much money you have? Yes. Uh huh. And you say you can say me no. Yeah, I could say no or no. In that case, the the actual answer would be yes. I mind. Because it's, le importaría decir, le importaría decirme cuánto dinero tiene? Sí, me importa. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Así me importa. Uh, but so, it really it. don't answer uh, the affirmative is negative. But yeah, I know, but the correct way to answer is, uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, yes, I would mind. Sí, me, sí, me importa, me molesta. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. But the, this in this case is the I don't know if it's correct say uh, the close answer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I try to <laughs> I try. You're doing great. That's good. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna bring everybody back to the main room. So I'll see you in the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you understand it, or do you need do you need more time, more more uh, examples, or is it pretty clear now? It's okay? It's okay. All right, perfect. Okay, all right. So in that case, guys, um, we're going to move on to the next activity. I need you guys to look at, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint.
Yes. 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 All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, we have here a discussion of three questions. First question is, do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing cost is essential to make profit? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Do we understand this que these questions? What is the meaning of regardless? regardless? Regardless. Regardless uh -huh. is, um, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's what it means. Regardless means it doesn't matter. Regardless. Sin importar el tamaño sería en este caso. Exactly. Independ independientemente del tamaño. Exactly. Yeah. Without. It doesn't matter. Okay. So regardless means it doesn't matter. So do you agree that it doesn't, that the size doesn't, the size of the business analyzing costs, um, Sorry, so it doesn't matter the size of the business. Um, analyzing costs is essential to making profit, right? So it, it, so it doesn't matter what the size is. It, it, it can be a big size of a business. It can be a small size. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. Any questions? All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get you guys to go back to the same, the, the same group, except I think I'm just gonna make a small change. Um, just one person is gonna go to another group. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to, yeah, just one person is going to change to another group, but everybody else is going to have a group. Okay, so I want you to discuss these questions. Do we understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, here, go then. Let's open up the rooms. The size, the, of the, the size of the business, the, the company, depend of the, you are going to get a benefit. In my case, I think the, the size of the company is going to determine, is going to, to decide how, how, how much benefits are you going to have. For example, did you invest maybe $10, $10, and $100, you are going to have a, a, a one level of the, the benefits. But if you invest more money, you are going to get more. Uh, the risk is going to, and we, when the risk is bigger, you are going to get more benefits. That means for, for in my case, I think it's the pen of the the person the pen of the invest mm -hmm. in my case yes and i agree with that explain explanation because depending of how how much money do you invest i guess that you need to analyze when you 
for example, the bicycle, mm -hmm. you know what is the price of, for that bicycle. But if you uh, sell the bicycle in another country, you need to pay taxes, you need to pay um, cost for send that bicycle and you need to uh, calculate the cost of the bicycle, mm -hmm. the cost to send that product. The cheaping, the uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. And I guess it's we need to- It's a different price you buy uh -huh. to sell a bicycle here or in another country. Exactly. And I guess also, I have never calculated the price, but I think also uh, we need to include the tax for yeah. the place. Uh -huh. We are saying. Okay, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Oh, the ones that we are talking right now. Yeah, taxes, uh, taxes, price of shipping, materials. Material, the, shipping. The, the primary materials, exactly. The people who make, who, who <laughs> yeah. produce the, the, the worker who produce the, the product, the bicycle in this case. And what else? Uh, I think you can fix expenses, the materials, taxes, shipping process. Yeah. I will think in that way because fix it. Mm -hmm. There's no, sir, there's no change. You must pay them. What do you think, Miss Jessica? <laughs> About? <laughs> <laughs> about your answers or, or what yes of the exercise we are doing right now <laughs> mm, i think you guys are having a good, a good discussion i like that yes i, uh -huh. I like to hear that and that's the most yes. important thing about this activity it's not so much about getting the right answer it's about practicing practicing exactly we understood that in the previous exercise because sometimes some questions came to us with the if. No, no, no. We need to replace the if with a wh. <laughs> and that Jessica, was. Jessica, I have a question. I wonder if do you like to buy a gold bicycle because <laughs> Ana Claudia is selling a bicycle. What kind made of bicycle? by made with gold? Yes. <laughs> Made with gold. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to afford that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm poor. <laughs> I We've been talking about materials and stuff like that. It's very interesting, this part, Yeah. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I mean, nowadays you can make anything out of gold. You know, like, mm. uh, no, it's, it's, it's crazy. For example, in Dubai, People make yeah. like, you know, and you know, crazy things made of gold and diamonds and things uh -huh. like that. Eat golds with chocolates and oh. yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. You can you can eat it too, yeah, with chocolate and everything. Mm, nice. I don't know. It's it's yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know there are treatments too, like uh, facial treatments with gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I, 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 I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Claudia, I, I want to, I want to um, uh, support you, but unfortunately, I won't be. <laughs> Good. We are just dreaming. Is this Excel? I was telling to someone else that I, I like this um, module because I've never made I, ne I neither i didn't know the name of the folder in english now i know that the name is swat uh, what is the component never in my life i yeah. made that process that that is very important process in this module oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, I, I agree foda is or foda or swat, in SWAT. Mm -hmm. is um, a very necessary process in anything that you do in life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you, you, it's very, it's important to sit down and, and analyze it. Anything, not just for a business. Yeah, exactly. One wins a week ago in uh, quality is uh, 
one of material of the university, I chose to have a photo for my company because we have a uh, certificate ISO 9000, but that ISO, but we need to have a, an analysis for my company. Ah, good for you. And you were able to understand it and made it in English at the same time. You were able to yeah. translate to your colleagues. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I know. But yes, I, I think it is it's it's very important. Um yeah, and, and and this yeah, you can you can use this these um um these techniques not mm -hmm. just for uh, business, but just, you know, in your everyday life. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys ready or do you need more? Yes. Time? No, we are ready. Yeah, we are ready. Good. All right. You have a less than two minutes. I'm just going to go in and uh, check out another group. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hi guys. Hello, teacher. Yeah. We finish. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you uh, you answered all the questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. All right. So I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Perfect. Okay. Hi, Heidi. You're back. We're back. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Se nos fueron. Ya no quisieron salir del grupo. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó bien más cuando empezamos el grupo? ¿Qué pasó? No. Oh no. No bien más. Maybe maybe it was just me. I thought. Okay. All right, guys. Um. So. Um. Tell me. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to profit? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. yes, it is very important. We need to analyze the cost. Okay. So in that case, have you ever cal calculated the price of a product? Yes. In my case, no, neither. Never. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <really> never. <laughs> and when I when I say when I say the cost of a product, I'm talking about what it what how much it costs to make a product. Like when you say yes. it's like a precio de costo. Yes. You've done that, Jerry? But, but it was a uh, practice in that university. But uh -huh. I apply all, all the elements to, <laughs> to get the cost. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. At the okay. end, the people that they, at the end, I finished that the people create those products, they lost a lot of money. Oh, really? Yes, because they invest more more money than they get oh that's that's bad okay okay yeah and that's why it's important to be able to 
calculate the, the price of the product, like the, the cost of the product, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And how, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of our product? And when we say fixed expense, we're talking about something that you constantly have to um, invest in. Energy. Okay. When you say Labor energy, rent. When you say yeah. energy, are you talking about like like electricity? Electricity. Okay. So the, 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 electric, so the electricity bill. What else? Water. 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 Okay. And rent human resource labor okay. okay okay so yes um yes very good um so human labor mm -hmm. yeah human labor absolutely material. yes although the raw materials may not be like so much of a fixed expense because um they can vary right they can vary and price right depending and then and the energy on the water is yeah, most, not fixed. Yeah, that's true. It's not so much fixed, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, unless, unless, well, it depends on where you live, right? And, um, you know, you may actually end up with a fixed price. Some, some places, for example, you know what could be a fixed price? If you have like solar panels, for example. If you mm. buy a solar panels, and um, you may have a fixed price because sometimes what you what happens with solar panels is that you pay the company a certain amount of money every month and independent on how much you spend uh you're going to be paying the solar panels every month so that could be a fixed expense in that sense so it really yes. depends I agree. Mm -hmm. okay very good so speaking about calculating um you know, the expenses for things. What we're going to do is we're going to see this. Uh... Oh, hold on, just give me a moment. Tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. All right, so this is analyzing cost of production. Remember, it's production, not production. Production. Yes, I know. I know you guys love that word, <laughs> especially Anna Claudia. <laughs> it's production, you say. <laughs> production. <laughs> okay, so uh, analyzing cost of production. So um, we have here says here, there are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a, a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. So we're going to be reading about these three things. I like three volunteers to help me read it. Me, teacher. All right. Heidi can read the first, the cost of production, who can be... Me, teacher. Okay. Um, great, Jerry, you can read the market demand for a product or service. And who can read the last one? Me, teacher. Okay, great, Andres. Uh, you can read determining the markup of a product. Okay, so okay. let's go ahead and read. Okay, the cost of production. Fixed and variable cost determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent of your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include the items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials, in pricing your product. First, determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into, into producing each unit of your product, all through it might be difficult calculation a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost then you divide the total by your estimated total sales you will have then your cost of production per unit now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to convert 
the cost of production to cover the cost of production. Thank you. Production. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Heidi. Very good. Okay. Um, hold on. Just before you guys go on to the next one. How do you pronounce this word? Variable. 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 Uh huh. Variable. Good. And how do you pronounce this word? Although. 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 The stress is on the second syllable. Although. So it's not although. although. It's although. 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 Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. Good. Thank you very much. Let's move on to market demand for product product or service. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when price a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse, inverse, inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rise, and as price rise, demand fall. Demand for your product is just an, as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of product or production. Production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between cost, customer in, income and demand. As a customer income goes up, so does demand for a product. Thank you. Okay, so it's not just okay. So what they're saying in this one is okay. So you have calculated the cost of production, right? So you have to sell the product for at least that amount of money so that you don't break, uh, so that, that your company doesn't lose money, okay? So it says here, now you, you, sell, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. So if the cost of production is $5, you cannot sell it for four fifty. Because if you sell it for four fifty, you you're gonna be losing money. Okay, you're gonna be basically paying people to buy your products. <laughs> so that doesn't make sense. Now, but on the other hand, this, part, this um, paragraph here is telling us, Okay, you can't, you, okay, so if it costs $5, you can't just simply say, okay, I'm going to, if it costs $5, I'm going to, I'm going to sell it for $50. Because that doesn't make sense, right? Because if you, if you make it too high, then what's going to happen is that the demand is not going to be very high. So yes, you can sell it for $50, but how many people are going to buy it? right? Probably one or two people, and that's it. And that's all of your, your, your total cost. But it's different if you now you it costs $5, but you're going to sell it now for $6 or $7. Then you say, Oh, but I'm only making $1. Or I'm only making $2 off of it. Yes, you know, you're only making one or $2. But what happens if 200 people buy it? then that means that you're making 200 or $400 instead of making what $90 if you sell it for $50, right? So you have to look at the, the demand as well, right? Okay, so the pricing and the, the demand have to go even. Okay, does that make sense with this, with this paragraph? It's like yes. the price of Bitcoin. The Bitcoin has a big demand and the price is going to rise. Right. I agree. Okay, good. Let's read the last one. And this. Okay. The last one is determining the markup of a product, regardless of the type of small business. Markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, 
How it will be? How do you pronounce that word, teacher? Mm -hmm. Good. That's a good rapidly. question. Rapidly. Rapidly. Mm -hmm. The product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. So, what is the markup? price or a markup uh, percentage? Something that you are going to earn when you, you get a service or product. Right, okay. So basically it's, it's like saying how much you want to, how much you want to earn per product, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, yeah. So you have to basically plan the profit. You can't just say, oh, well, no, whatever. Uh, whatever happens, happens. You have to plan it, right? And sometimes you may have to um, compromise and let go of the profit as much as you want to, to be able to make the price, make the sell. To give you an example, let's say you have a client who, um, maybe is going to buy, you know, a hundred of your products. Well, if they're gonna buy a hundred products, you wanna make that customer very happy, right? So you may give them a discount on that product, right? Instead of paying full price, maybe you give them a 20% discount. Now, by giving them a 20% discount, your markup is going to go low. Right, you're gonna have to come, you're gonna have to give it up. But in the end, you're going to make it up. Why? Because that customer is gonna be very happy because you gave them a good price. And not only are they gonna buy from you more products in the future, but they're probably going to recommend you to other people. And that's how you, even though you compromise your, your markup, but in the end, you made a nice profit. Okay. All right. So, what do you guys think about this um, this uh, article? Do you guys understand it? Uh, are there any questions uh, about the vocabulary or pronunciation that you like me to answer? I have a question to share the difference between markup and profit. Markup is ganancia, verdad? In Spanish. Um, Como el de ganancia. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. profit? Es, es en sí la ganancia. Uh, el revenue físico? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Lo que gane. Ok, got it. Thank you. Yes. For example, si you invest a dollar, and mm -hmm. then you get, uh, for example, if you, you produce a, a shoes for $1 and you sell that shoes uh, $1.50, you, your profit or your markup is 50. My markup is 50% and my mm -hmm. profit is 50 cents. Your profit is basically all the benefit that you are going to get for your production uh, or your production. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yes. So it's basically the whole thing. Like the markup is, is ev taking everything into account. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember that those measure in companies, retail companies is really okay. important. For example, they, they, they measure uh, the markup, markdown in, in the, all those activities that in this article defined this uh, variable and fixed mm. cost. Okay, got it. Okay. All right, and so guys, any questions about the vocabulary so far, pronunciation? It's all okay? Yeah, 
how do you how do you pronounce volume? Mm. Where is that? Sales uh volume so in the class production. Volume, right? In the third exactly. Volume. 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 Mm -hmm. Volume. Okay. Anything else? And that term that there mean the what? That there mean or that oh, I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Uh, I know which one you're talking about. I just don't know where it is. Just give me a second. Where, in the same row. It's in the same row. Oh. Mm, okay. Determine. Determine. Yes. Determine. Mm -hmm. Anything else? How you pronounce the production teacher? <laughs> no, 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 just, I'm kidding. Just, just ask Anna. Anna Claudia, she'll tell you. <laughs> if the teacher styles is production. <laughs> okay. She said we need to exaggerate to understand and for us to keep in mind that pronunciation <laughs> yes I, and i stand by that i stand mm. by it because <laughs> it does work you exactly. know you, it does work <laughs> if, you, if you exaggerate it i'm sure you're you're going to to get it <laughs> you won't forget right Anna Claudia, you now, now yeah. Anna claudia in the middle of the meeting say the production, production. Uh -huh. <laughs> and everybody's like look at her like <laughs> <laughs> you know? what happened with me? yeah <laughs> She may crazy. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So that's clear. Everything is clear now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. We're gonna stop our class there, and we're gonna take attendance. Are we going to have class tomorrow, teacher? Yeah. <laughs> Anna Claudia. Present and see you on Thursday. <laughs> That's your answer, Yuri. <laughs> Andres? Present, teacher. Claudia? Claudia? The mess connect all, Claudia. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Edgar. Urban. Heidi? Present, teacher. Irene? Present, teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Ronald. Ronald, también se me conectó. Okay, Wendy. Present. Warner. And Suleyma. Present. Okay, all right guys. So um, that's going to be all for today. And yes, I'm going to see you on Thursday. Okay, um, so today is our mini Friday, okay, because we uh, will not see each other until Thursday, okay, but do connect on Thursday, okay, no me, okay. no se vayan a, a tomar un, un, una hol, a longer holiday, okay, so I'll see you guys on Thursday, but, oigan esto, ¿qué tienen que haber hecho para el día de mañana? Eso le iba a preguntar, the platform must be complete for tomorrow. Um, if we are in the day 19, it's supposed every five days, so must be done in the day 20. Yes, okay, but, entonces va a ser para Thursday, but 
yo les sugiero que ya que tienen el día de mañana libre, o la mayoría de ustedes, úsenlo para que no estén a la última hora teniendo que hacerlo hacia la carrera. Entonces, usen ese día eh, para, para poder completarlo, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, va a ser el Thursday, pero, pero sí, traten de terminarlo lo más posible, lo más antes posible, ¿ok? ¿Ok? ¿Any questions? El 3. El 3 necesita tres. también. El 3. Sí. Todo y, y ustedes ya pues desde ahorita les digo deberían de ya empezar y si no lo han hecho el, el, el final también porque si no se les va a acumular, acumular dos cosas para el último mm. la, la otra semana entonces y el final es el que vale más todavía entonces yo les sugiero que desde ahorita empiecen ya con el final ya ya okay. ya si es posible yo creo que ya casi pueden completar la mayor parte del final y chévere, el lunes terminamos. No, no, terminamos el... 23. Jueves, si no me equivoco, el jueves. ¿Y cuántos días vamos a tener de vacación? <risa> Media hora. <risa> <risa> Ay, no, perdón, se me fue. <risa> bueno, ah, lo pues, pensé, ¿qué? lo dije. <risa> no, si el 27 empezamos de regreso. Muy bien, vaya, ok, no, 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 vaya. Eso, eso es lo que les quería decir. Ustedes leyeron, ¿verdad? La, la, la notificación que se les mandó el día de hoy. Dice que fecha tentativa de inicio 27 de septiembre. Siempre y cuando entreguemos los papeles. Con los papeles. Correcto. Sí. Entreguen a tiempo los papeles. ¿Cuándo es la fecha de entrega? Hasta viernes, la última fecha. Dijeron que viene este viernes. Este viernes. 17. viernes este viernes. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso significa que en su trabajo ustedes tienen que hacer como hacer presión su cita para que ya para el viernes esté. El... Entonces, y no, no estamos hablando de que el viernes, a, ¿verdad? A las 11 y 39 de la noche, ¿verdad? Sino que, o sea, traten de hacerlo durante el día para que uh, no haya inconvenientes. Eso, eso es la, lo, lo, lo que se espera, ¿ok? Para que ya, pues, podamos um, tener eso a, a tiempo. Entonces, eh, por favor, um, tal vez nos pueden colaborar con eso en el trabajo, así, así preguntar y así te, tenemos todo en orden. No sé, ¿ustedes ya recibieron el correo? ¿De un correo no? ¿No? ¿Para completar la encuesta? Ajá. No. No, okay. yo, creo que, yo creo que el lunes algo así van, les, les va a caer algo así. Entonces, acuérdense nuevamente, solo les recuerdo de que no completen la encuesta hasta el último día de clase cuando la hagamos todos juntos. Solamente ese recordatorio. Bueno, ya no les quito más tiempo. Vayan a descansar y disfrutar de su vacación. Y solo me quedo con Ivonne. ¿Ok? Ok. Bye. Bye. ¿Cuál vacación, teacher? Good evening. <laughs> Bueno, vacaciones en la noche, pues. Ah, pues se va a conectar mañana. ¿eh? Ajá, cabal. <ríe> Ay, no. Bye. Bye, bye. Ok, Ivonne, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? Bien, bien. Ahí estamos tranquilos esperando ya. <ríe> Para el día de mañana con ansias. <ríe> Pero ustedes sí tienen descanso mañana. Okay. Sí, mañana sí tenemos asueto. Ok, qué bueno. Me sentí raro porque descansamos un día y después volvemos a trabajar. Okay. Sí, va a, ser un, va a ser una semana corta, ¿verdad? Porque va, se va a sentir como una semana de dos días y otra semana de dos días. <risa> sí, lo único que a mí sí me aflige es las semanas cortas. ¿Por qué? Porque hay mucho trabajo. Ah, bueno, sí. Sí, a veces se va acumulando, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, no piensa en eso. Usted ahorita disfrute y punto. <ríe> sí. Vaya, entonces, Ivonne, cuénteme, ¿en qué le puedo yo ayudar? Fíjese, teacher, que la verdad ahorita no, no tengo así como muchas dudas porque siento que las hemos venido resolviendo bien ¿no? durante las, las clases. Entonces, no, no siento ahorita que haya algún punto que tal vez deberíamos de, de reforzar. Lo único es por, la, por las palabras que le pregunté, que ese sí no sabía cómo, cómo pronunciarlas. Pronunciación. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh, pero le pregunté, 
¿verdad? No, no, tenga, no, no me tenga pena de preguntar de que, ay, o sea, que a saber si me va a entender la teacher o qué sé yo. No, usted, usted pregunta. O si quiere, póngalo en el chat, ¿verdad? Pero usted siempre pregunta esa, esa, esas palabritas que no, que no están muy claras, que no enten, entendió cómo pronunciarlas. Siempre pregunta y así podemos ir aclarando, ¿verdad? Uh, porque si no, nos quedamos con esas duditas y, y después esas dudas se van haciendo más grandes, ¿verdad? Y, y hay lagunas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. que se pregunte. Uh -huh. Sí. Okay. Pero ahorita siento yo que, que sí estamos, estamos bien. Es, todas las, las tareas de la 3 tendríamos que hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, todas las okay. tareas de la 3, sí. Uh -huh. Es lo que, lo que hay que entregar para el jueves. Um, pero sí, eh, si ustedes pueden ir avanzando. ¿Y cómo vamos? De hecho, ¿cómo vamos con eso, con la plataforma? Eh, ya había terminado el midterm, había terminado la unidad 2, pero la unidad 3 no, la, no las he hecho. Entonces voy a aprovechar el día de mañana para hacer la unidad 3 y avanzar con el, con el final. Perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien, sí. excelente. Sí, ajá, porque yo digo que... Eh, se puede avanzar un poco con el final, sería mejor, ¿verdad? Ya prácticamente ya terminamos toda la unidad 3 casi. Entonces puede, con, sin ningún problema, puede ser ese, el, la, ¿cómo se llama? La mitad del final, sin ningún sí, sí. problema. Uh -huh. Ah, y otra cosa, nos escribió Jonathan que dijo que con los papeles nosotros no nos preocupáramos porque él se entiende con la persona encargada de la empresa. Así que nosotros hicimos ah. caso omiso a los a los correos y mensajes que nos mandaban. Ah, los... Perfecto. Sí, a veces pasa eso. Hay ciertas um, empresas que a uh, ellos les gustan directamente tratar, ¿verdad? Y, y a veces hay, incluso hay empresas que dicen, yo voy a mandar el paquete completo de, de uh -huh. todos los participantes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En ese caso, pues, sí, ahora, ahora nos están escribiendo porque hay un chat de la empresa, de todos los que están en la empresa, en los diferentes módulos. Ajá. Y él escribió ahí de que hiciéramos caso omiso a todos los mensajes o correos que nos pudieran llegar porque él estaba en comunicación con una persona del Departamento de Educación y que ella es la que se encargaba de la documentación de todos. Perfecto. Hay mucho Por que esta mejor parte para no hay usted. problema. Sí, mucho que mejor para usted. Ajá, ok. Perfecto, perfecto. Sí. Um, y quiero ver qué más con, el, con la asistencia. Quiero ver cómo vamos. Ya les digo. Oh, sí, con la asistencia vamos muy bien. Ahorita tienes casi el 70. Tienes 69.73. Así que casi son 70 y necesitamos 80. Y uh, pues todavía nos quedan que seis clases. Una semana, creo. Siete días, incluyendo el día de hoy. Por cuatro serían 28. Entonces, todavía son 28% más que puede usted agregarle a eso. Así que, uh -huh. sí, muy bien, excelente. Prácticamente, pues sí, casi, casi el, el, el 100%. Eh, muy bien, muy bien. Uh -huh. um, ok, perfecto. ¿Alguna pregunta, comentario, sugerencia, cualquier cosita? No, ahorita no. Che. No, okay. estamos bien. Ok, bye. Cualquier cosita se le ocurra eh, cuando está haciendo la tarea, lo que sea, y a veces, a veces se nos ocurre algo en el momento y, o sea, no es en la clase y entonces decimos, ah, pero se me va a olvidar para cuando lleguemos a la clase. Entonces le sugiero que lo pueda escribir en el chat, ¿verdad? Para okay. que pueda, uh, o, o sea, ya sea el chat del grupo o a mi persona, ¿verdad? directamente me, me escriben y hacerme la consulta o una sugerencia, comentario, que quiera hacer. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Ok, Ivonne, bueno, un gusto haberla visto y Gracias. De, de su mini vacación. Gracias, igualmente, teacher. Bye. Feliz noche. Gracias, igualmente. Adiós. Adiós.